There are many exciting things to do with iPads in the classroom, and one of them is what you see students doing here, using an app called Socrative to take a quiz in class with both multiple choice and short answer type questions. That's hair! That's hair! It is hair! <laughs> That's what hair looks like underneath of a microscope. Is that healthy hair? <laughs> well, it looks like it could use a little conditioner. A little. All right, some more questions. Let's answer these questions, please. So here is a dust mite, and it says it, the dust mite is less than half a millimeter, which is equal to. Pick your answer and hit submit. What you have just watched is students using an app called Nearpod. With Nearpod, teachers can log in and create interactive presentations. Students can then access these presentations over Wi-Fi on their iPads by simply entering a PIN number into the Nearpod app. With Nearpod, teachers can insert videos for students to watch. They can insert questions for students to answer. They can insert slideshows or polls, and they get instantaneous feedback on how their students are doing. There are numerous other iPad apps available for students, such as concept mapping apps like Poplet, Mental, and BioFlowChart Lite, which allows the addition of biological images for the creation of uh, biological concept maps. Other apps like Dropbox would allow students to share documents between periods. Apps like Socrative would allow students to take quizzes. And apps like Whiteboard and ScreenChomp and Show Me would allow students to collaborate from one iPad to the next while writing data and recording audio over top of it to share with classmates or with the teacher. Apps like Flashcardlet and Flashcard Machine would provide opportunities for students to review information. And content specific apps such as Cell Membrane, Gene Screen, and Evolutionary Biology would allow students to practice difficult concepts learned during class through real life examples, animations, and games.